Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Riz and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you three, actually three different ways you can screen mirror your iPhone. Doesn't matter what iPhone you have, it will work to any TV 2022. Three different ways. By the way, I'll try to leave the timestamps in the description box below so it'll be easy for you to navigate through the video. And yeah, let's dive right into it. All right, so method number one. All right, so first things first, no matter what method you're using, we need to be connected to some sort of a connection. So first thing you wanna do is to go to the settings and inside the settings, you have two options. As you can see, you have the option for the Wi-Fi, or you could also use your mobile data. Again, if you want to use mobile data, be careful, it's not free. Depending on what network you have, this will cost you credit, okay? So just be careful with it. So for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be using my Wi-Fi. As you can see, mine is connected. So just go to the Wi-Fi settings and connect your iPhone to a Wi-Fi connection that is available at your home, okay? So that is really, really important. Okay, so once the uh, once the iPhone is connected to the Wi-Fi, now what you wanna do is to go to the App Store and download a free app called uh, Replica Screen Mirroring. By the way, don't worry, all the links will be in the description box below, okay? So you can just go there and download it from there, okay? I've done this before, so I really can't download it again, of course. All right, so first thing you wanna do on your TV is to go to the settings page. Now, inside the settings page, you have a lot of options, of course. Go to the network settings, and inside the network settings, if you have never done this before, go to the network settings instead of going into the network status, okay? So I have done this before, but I'm, I'm just gonna show you this uh, for the sake of this video. So just go to the uh, network settings and there you go. All right, so once you are inside the network settings, you have the option to connect your TV to the Wi-Fi, or let's say if you don't have Wi-Fi uh, in your TV, you can also use uh, the ethernet cable as well but you can also use the uh, uh, mobile data as well as the hotspot, of course. So just, just for the sake of this video, as I'm saying it again and again, I'm gonna connect my TV to my home Wi-Fi. As you can see, mine is connected and that is pretty much all we need to do on the TV, okay? So let's just jump back to the Replica app and let's do this. All right, so the first off is gonna be the Replica app, okay? Really simple, once you open it up, Really simple, once you open it up, it's gonna ask, it's gonna show you all the TVs that are connected to the same network, okay? As you can see, mine is Samsung that is running in the background, of course, and that's all we need, okay? So every time you click on it, it's gonna ask you to buy it, as you can see, but if you look closer to the top right corner, you have the option to escape it. That is really, really important, okay? So just watch closely, I'm gonna show you again, okay? So let me just escape it. Okay, it's gonna give you the option now, but let's just go back and let's do this. Okay, so you are at this screen. I'm gonna click on my TV and it's gonna ask me to buy it. But if you look closer to the top right corner, you have the option to escape it. Really simple, right? Just You just have to wait eight seconds and that's pretty much it. So just click on it, wait. And then it's gonna ask you for the offer. All you need to do is just ignore the offer. And there you go. Pretty simple, right? Now it's asking for the broadcast, just click on start the broadcast. It's gonna take three seconds, one, bam, we are connected. There you go. In the background, we are connected. Well, depending on what TV you have, this one isn't Android, so it's not gonna be that fast. There is a tiny bit of lag. Of course, there is a tiny bit of lag, but you really can't ask for more. I mean, it's really, really simple. And it's completely free as well. So uh, you have the option, you have, you can do whatever you like. You can even listen to music if you want to. So uh, yeah, there is a tiny bit of lag, not gonna lie, but it is what it is. So yeah, by the way, if you want the audio coming out from the TV, that is also really simple. If you could just go to the control center and if you can go to the playing tab, right now nothing is playing, but if there is something that is playing in the background and you want the audio, coming from the TV, really simple. All you need to do is just click on it and it's gonna show you there is a TV and there's an iPhone. That That's that's really simple. So uh, yeah, that's for the method number one. Let's just jump to the method number two. 
That was pretty cool, right? Let's jump into method number two. All right, so method number two. This is also gonna be really, really simple, by the way. So don't worry about that. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do again is to make sure your iPhone is connected to the network. As I said before, mine is connected to my Wi-Fi, but if you don't have Wi-Fi, that is completely okay. You can also use your mobile data. Just be careful with it, okay? All right, so once the iPhone is connected to the network, now what you wanna do is go to the Play Store and download a free app called iMedia Share. Probably one of the freest app, probably one of the best free apps I've seen out there, okay? Just like the replica, of course. So once the app is downloaded, pretty, pretty simple, nothing fancy. Just open it up. It's gonna load. It might show an ad or something, so be careful. There you go. I have an ad, so let's just quit it on top right corner. There you go. So it's gonna give you multiple options. As you can see, you have camera photos, uh, my music, you have videos as well, and you have a local network as well. All right, so for the method number two, again, we need to make sure the TV is on the same network as the iPhone is. That is really, really important, okay? As you can see, mine is connected as I just showed you in the step number one or method number one, of course. So uh, mine is connected to the uh, network, the same network my iPhone is, okay? All right, so now it's time to open the iMedia Share app, okay? All right, so open the iMedia Share app as I showed you before. And once you open the ad, it will show you an ad, okay? So let me just quit it, the top right corner, there you go. Okay, now you have options. You can watch videos, you can listen to music if you want to. You can even use photos, okay? Let me just open up the photos. It's gonna show you all the, uh, it's gonna show you all the albums that you have on your iPhone. I'm gonna select a single photo that I want to, uh, it's downloading, of course. It's gonna download, of course, and there you go. Once you open the photo, once you open the photo, any photo or video, it's gonna show you that what device do you want to connect to. In this case, I have my Samsung TV right behind me and it's showing me that I have a Samsung TV that is ready. So just click on your Samsung TV and there you go in the background. See, it's connected. Pretty, pretty awesome, right? All right, so I'm gonna show you again. Of course, I have to clean my, uh, clean my photos of course i really can't show you all the albums of course due to you know you know private photos and every, everything I'm, I'm, i apologize okay i apologize so let me show you again just click on the photo and it should automatically uh sync it to your tv i just showed you before it's gonna ask you for the tv for the first time but once you're connected that is it so if you swipe down or swipe left it's gonna automatically sync that photo video or music whatever you like it's gonna sync it to your tv i mean you can you have a lot of options you can view photos if you want to you can watch videos in this one <laughs> so yeah it's pretty pretty awesome so uh yeah that's that's it for the method number two all right so by the way uh if you want to stop this really simple all you need to do is just quit the app and uh change the source on your tv okay that way it will automatically quit. Just change the source on your TV and it will automatically quit. There you go. Pretty, pretty simple, right? Yep, now let's dive into the method number three. All right, so last but not the least, method number three. All right, so method number three is gonna be YouTube and all the Google products. I'm talking about YouTube, I'm talking about Google documents, I'm talking about Google photos, whatever you like, okay? It's gonna be really, really simple. So, I mean, you, I mean, I'm pretty sure you already have YouTube and Google Photos on your iPhone. So it's gonna be really, really simple because we're gonna be using these apps to connect the iPhone to the TV. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty awesome. All right, so for the method number three, we are gonna be using YouTube and Google Photos. All the Google apps, by the way, you can use. All right, so we're gonna be using the uh, YouTube and Google Photos. Of course, I have private photos, so I really can't show you, but I will I will just give you an example so you have some idea. All right, so when you open the YouTube app, all right, so every time you open the app, you have the option at the top right corner. As you can see, there is a screen mirroring icon at the top right corner. So let me just zoom in and show you exactly. There you go. Every time you click on it, it's gonna show you all the TVs that are in the background or connected to the same network. So in this case, mine is Samsung TV. So I'm just gonna click on Samsung. 
and it's connecting. As you can see in the background, it is connected right now. So I can play whatever. So I can play whatever I like and it will automatically sync it to my TV. So let's just say I want to watch this video or maybe not that one, maybe this one. I'm gonna click on it, as you can see. And as you can see, it's playing on my Samsung TV. So just give it time and it should automatically play it for you on your TV. There you go. As you can see in the top right corner, my iPhone is connected. There you go. It's playing by the way. As you can see, there you go. I apologize about that. I have to mute myself, but okay. So how do I quit this? Okay, really simple. Just click on the screen ring icon. And as you can see, you have the option to use it as a remote control or, or you could also uh, use the audio for the uh, input. But let's just go back. As you can see, mine is connected to my TV. Just go back and click again on the icon and it's gonna ask you for the discount, um, disconnect, and you can also use the white search. So as you can see, mine is playing right now. I'm just click on disconnect, and there you go. My, T my iPhone is disconnected from my TV. As you can see on the top right corner, it is, it is disconnected. So pretty awesome, right? All right, so it works just the same for the uh, Google Photos as well. Let me just open up any photo that I want to. Uh, let's say, why, uh, why not? Sure, this is my bike. So I'll just, uh, wait, it's a story, dude. Oh, okay, it's a story, okay. So uh, I'm gonna open something else. All right, so my photo, sure. And, but if you look closer to the top right corner, so as you can see, you, can, you have the option at the top right corner. That's the screen mirroring icon I just showed you before. Well, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you liked the video. By the way, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely, definitely get back to you, okay? I hope you enjoyed the video, and that's pretty much it for the video. Why am I saying a, I'm, I'm saying a lot of videos? <laughs> but I'll catch you in the next one. Be sure to subscribe. Peace out.